Happy Vlogmas Day 9. <laughs> morning everybody it is wednesday morning it's a great day the podcast just came out always post a new video i just i like wednesdays wednesdays is like christmas morning anyways it's nice and chilly outside so i'm all cozied up crop sweatshirt is from princess polly beanie is from adidas i think i got an urban sweatpants misguided air force ones nothing new here ryan's picking me up and we're going to get duncan for breakfast slash coffee just like a good way to start the day Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got a hot rod Santa over here. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so hungry. You ready to get some Dunkin'? So ready to get some Dunkin'. Getting Delaney some too. Really? Yeah. What are you okay. getting? I think she kind of wants the exact same thing as I do. So. What are you, what, you I already get know a, what you're getting? Oh my gosh, yes. I've been thinking about this all morning. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant, mm. medium iced coffee with hash mm. browns. She's getting the same thing, but I think she wants a small iced coffee. Actually, like, one of the... A little podcast vibe? Nah, I'm gonna do... Let's do country. Okay, vibes. Ryan and I have a country playlist that we made together that we can both add to how tender. Yeah, I'm pretty bad about that, though. <laughs> yeah. All right, the line's really long, so we're going in. I don't know why people... More people don't go in. I mean, as long as you're masked up, shoddy, like... You get your food quicker. Oh yeah. Yay, coffee time! You mean so much to me. Look at the tree and the city hall's all decorated too. Cheers. Yay! Back now, going to multitask and do some schoolwork. We're going to presentation. Watch The Bachelorette from last night because we just never, Tuesday nights are just not it. Like, I miss them on Monday night. Yay, Bachelorette time. Woo! My favorite is Ivan, if anyone's wondering. Guys, the fire alarm strikes again. They told us they're doing practice ones, so we just have to like sit through it. Oh! All right, hi guys. So, um, we actually had to pause watching The Bachelor because I have a call right now with YouTube. I always love having these calls with my um, representative at YouTube because I learn a lot and we just kind of like talk about my videos and which ones people seem to like more or click on, whatever. It's just like fun and last time when we had a, a Google Hangout call, we literally brainstormed like 20 video ideas and it was just really fun. I really, really like her and we've become, we've become friends in my opinion. So I'm doing my whole little, you know, add the earrings, put on blue light glasses thing. I feel like it makes you look a little bit more presentable. I wasn't feeling my hair in the beanie though, so I just put it up in a ponytail. Also, I'm getting my hair done today. That's like a big thing. Today's actually a really big vlog because I'm doing something like a little different to my hair. So, get excited. Okay, I have to hop on. Yay! Alrighty guys, I just got off um, Google Hangout with her. She's actually visiting her family in Africa right now. So the Wi-Fi was kind of like in and out, but it was really good to chat with her. We talked about Vlogmas and all kinds of fun things. And now I'm about to hop on another Zoom, kind of flip flop, a little student influencer vibes right now. Um, we're headed over to the student side. I am in a trend forecasting class and it's definitely my favorite class this semester. And our final project's like a trends whole magazine book situation. They're basically we're taking a lot of assignments that we've already done throughout the semester and putting it in the magazine because I've been in a group pretty much the whole semester. A lot of my classes are actually group project based, which is a blessing and a curse. Sometimes it's like hard because communication, especially right now, since we can't like all be in person together all the time. So yeah, we're gonna do a Zoom and just kind of figure out who wants to do what. I think I decided I'm gonna be the styling director and then someone else is the advertising director. Um, there's an art director, all the fun thing. And yeah, I think we actually get to do, we're gonna like all take photos for it. Like not like 
photos together but like we're all like picking like who's gonna take photos and what outfits and pop it on the dock and magazine i think it's gonna be really really fun um it's just kind of cool because we've been working on this basically all semester and this is gonna be like the final trends project so it's actually a really interesting class and i don't know i've learned a lot from it for sure and i think that's why i've gotten so into styling right now so we're gonna hop on that call um, and then later today, I don't know, I kind of like taking a nap, I don't really know. I told Delaney she could just finish watching Bachelorette. I'm like, I was excited about this season. I just want her to like pick Ivan or that other guy. It's just like all the other guys are so dramatic. Like Tasha just deserves so much more. Um, I just haven't been hooked on it as much. I just, I miss Bachelorette Mondays. Like Tuesdays are weird. They're just so weird. Um, I'm getting my hair done. I'm so excited. I decided I'm gonna do the little root smudge situation. So stay blonde, like down here, whatever. But up top, like just blend this more. Um, and then have like two blonder pieces in the front. I'm really nervous, like ah. But I think it'll be really good. And I literally asked everyone I know and pretty much everyone but like two people were like, don't do it. So I'm gonna make this little Zoom link for my group. Yeah, that's the update. Before I hop on this Zoom, because I think we're actually gonna do like a group FaceTime or whatever, um, I wanted to do today's donation of the day for Vlogmas. Um, today we're gonna be donating to Rescue Paws UGA. You guys know I've been trying to do things that are either close to me, close to one of you guys, or obviously to my community here at UGA. Um, and I got a DM from them because I think they knew I was doing this. And they basically just said they're a student-run initiative at UGA. Their mission as a campus club is to involve, educate, and unite people in order to help animals in the Athens, Georgia community. This includes rescuing animals in danger of euthanasia, coordinating foster homes and adoptions, raising awareness for animal care and protection, protection as well as fundraising to sponsor animal well-being and operations at affiliated rescues and shelters. For example, we did a virtual fundraiser in October for our Love a Bully event to benefit homeless pit bulls in Georgia. It's so cute. Um, and they just like listed off all of the local shelters that they work with. They basically take don donations from Venmo, um, which they then allot to shelters that are in the greatest need. So their Venmo is at Rescue Paws UGA. And I'm gonna Venmo right now. It was actually so sweet too. They were like, we know you might have an affinity for our mission because of your late dog, Miley. I know, I miss her. I used to have a Labradoodle. She passed away two Christmases ago. I literally am gonna tear up. Um, we would love to have you join us at any club events or meetings. And yeah, they said if I'm interested in fostering a dog at any point, they can connect me with a dog that is in need of some assistance, which is so sweet. So all in all, I love what they're all about. Might tear up. So we are going to Venmo them right now. So I will, um, well, I would say I'll have a link down below, but basically just Venmo Rescue Paws UGA. If you want to support or I highly suggest supporting your local shelter because there's so many doggies that don't have a home and it's really sad. I just wish I could take them all, but I think my mom would kill me. So, so yeah, we're going to donate now and then hop on the Zoom. Here we go. Flashy, Armani. You could write something in the letter for the editor, like expanding on that. Yeah, the meeting's done. We just finished. I'm really excited because um, I'm, like I said, the styling director. So basically what we decided to do, because I know some of you guys asked me to give more of insight of like what I'm doing in class, because you guys actually find it interesting, to take some pictures and kind of highlight a look that's really trending like right now. We just said we're gonna do animal print, so, um, but not necessarily like leopard or cheetah. We're gonna go for more of the zebra print cowhide situation because we feel like those are super in right now. And then also um, we came up with two themes throughout the semester of trends that we see for the upcoming seasons um, for like next fall and winter 2021. And we came up with the themes called bold relaxation, which is essentially loungewear, but make it chic and fun. So like sweat sets, the whole nine yards. And then muted, we decided is gonna be just neutrals. Neutral, chic, whatever. So I get to come up with a styling list and I'm basically just figuring out what kind of looks each person's going to shoot um, for us to compile and put all together. Um, so I'm like basically coming up with a list of things we would need as well because there's four of us girls and I'm sure we all have like different clothes and stuff that hopefully we'll be able to compile to make really great outfits. So like I know I have a zebra sweater, I know of a cowhide skirt. My friend Caitlin was saying she also has like a cowhide skirt as well. And then my friend Emily has like a black mock neck crop top. So we're just like figuring out who has what what outfits can be made with those things and how we're gonna get our look across. So it's really, really fun. I know it's like, oh my God, it's just fashion, but it is a really cool thing and it is what I'm really interested in. So I'm 
really excited about this final. Uh, so it's 2.20 now. Been like, go, go, go. Um, I just let Delaney finish Bachelor without me, so I actually don't know what happened. I'm gonna go ask her. I don't know, maybe she's like asleep. She's kind of quiet, but yeah. So I'm gonna get off my computer for a second because I've been on it. Good cozy vibes. I think I'm actually going to lay down for a second. Lie down, lay down. I never know. I'm so bad. And catch up on some Vlogmas. I'm just really in the mood. All right, just watch some Vlogmas and put on the Yule Log. And I just posted an Instagram story. This just looks so cute. I really want to do this. So then I posted a story saying, Vlogmas, what do you guys want to see more of in my vlogs? And I'm loving all like the recommendations that you guys are giving me. So thank you so much. I want to like incorporate like a ton of just random things in my vlog since obviously Vlogmas this year isn't like go, 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 do all these things all the time. All right, you guys, new segment time. We're going to do my favorite workout sets because a lot of you guys asked me to do a whole video on this just now on my story I just posted. And I was like, wait, why don't I include it in today's vlogs? It's not like worth a whole video. So I'm gonna be trying on like five or six of my favorite workout sets for you guys. I'll have them linked down below. And if they're not existent anymore, I will link similar ones. So this is the first one. This is one of my favorites. I have this in literally three colors, I think. I'm obsessed, it's from Set Active. Delaney has one as well, I think, right? Yeah, you got it for her birthday. I got it for her for her birthday. So this is the black one. I love this. So this is a one shoulder. So cute. I wear it to spin. I wear it to do different workouts. A lot of people ask like do you feel like protected secure? I do um, I will have sizes down below if I can remember because I can't really remember the top of my head But I think this is like an extra small small and they have medium large like I think they just have, like have two options I'm not sure and then these are the leggings guys. These are so flattering their sets in general They're literally called set active their sets in general are so flattering like the best so I've spun in these This is like one of my favorites for sure. All right set number two. I love this one I recently posted it on my Instagram story literally got like 5,000 swipe ups You guys really liked this one and I do too. I totally get it. It's super cute super on trends This is from the brand strut this off of Revolve. I'll link it down below. Hopefully it's not sold out yet. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's pretty good coverage. I spun in it once, maybe twice, and like, you feel a little free for sure, but you feel protected still. Um, but I love this because it's a little bit of a longer sports bra, which is always appreciated. It has a racer back. I just love the cowhide. Like, I love it. Um, sometimes I feel like it's a lot to wear the set together, and they're sold separately anyway, so you could totally just like, get the leggings and just wear like a solid sports bra, vice versa. I find myself wearing the top a little bit more than I do the leggings, if that matters to you guys. But yeah, I love the coloring. I love how it's like a muted, sorry, the lighting in here is not great today. Um, but yeah, this is so fun. I wear the sports bra with like black uh, leggings a lot. Um, so yeah, if I'd buy just one of these, I would just definitely buy the top. But yeah, I love this set, had to highlight it because it's so cute and you guys really liked it when I posted it on my Instagram story, so yay. This set is one of my workout go-tos. Like, I wear this all the time. One, the color. It's yellow, it's so happy. It's from Outdoor Voices. I really hope they still have this. This sports bra is so comfortable. It's perfect for really any workout. I have the yellow leggings and the matching biker shorts. I have the biker shorts on right now, but I also have the matching yellow leggings. Like, I love this set so much. Um, it actually looks a little bit paler yellow in the video, but it's actually super vibrant, and it probably was more vibrant. I've just worn it so many times I've washed it. This waistband is just, mm, we love that. Sucks y'all in. It's just a really flattering set. I always get a lot of compliments on it. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorites, a go-to. It's obviously winter now, so maybe you don't want to wear biker shorts, but they do have the leggings option as well. There's that little, like, two-tone situation in the back of the sports bra. But yeah, I love this, and I love outdoor voices in general. Another one of my favorite sets, however, I will say, this one is not great for super intense cardio, like running or spin. This is definitely, in my opinion, better for, like, a yoga class or, like, just lower impact kind of things. Um, not good for like jumping around, if you know what I mean, but I love this set. I believe it's from Beyond Yoga. Again, I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I love a good printed set, and this one's really cool snakeskin vibe. I love this top. It's super flattering. I love the back as well. This one's a little bit shorter, and then these are the matching leggings that go with it. Again, I'm pretty sure you can buy them separately, but this one is just super flattering. I feel like, see, I'm already ready to do some yoga. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Woo! 
And last but certainly not least, this is probably my current favorite set. I always switch off, but this one I have been loving wearing. It's like this chic. I wore this after a spin class and just like popped my like vegan leather like jacket over top with like sunglasses and I felt really cool. So this is from Free People Movement. This is called the Your Peach set. I like know that for a fact. Um, I love just like all the lining, the detailing. I think it's really cool. Again, I have done spin in this. Not the most supportive up top for sure, but it's doable. They have so many different colors too. I got the black, but they had like more bright colors as well. Um, but I really like this one, you guys. It's like a softer material. It's not like a nylon situation, but yeah, this is the top. The back, this big straps, which we love. Those are all my current favorite workout sets. I thought this was fun. If you guys liked this, I'll definitely do another one and highlight maybe like four or five more in another vlog. I'm just trying to do more like vlog segments. So yeah, now I'm gonna do my makeup because I have this thing when I get my hair done, like I just wanna like have my makeup done so that when my hair's done, I just like feel so pretty, you know? It's just like a thing. Um, I was jamming a Christmas pop in here. All right, let's do the makeups. Um, oh, when did this happen? <laughs> Yikes, clean up on aisle one. Okay, so actually before I start getting ready, I'm just gonna eat a little bowl of chili. I'm telling you guys, this has lasted me so long, it's the best. Um, I'm just gonna have a little bowl of chili because it's definitely a little bit past lunchtime, but it's not like dinner time, and all I've had was that Dunkin' Donuts actually. So we're gonna have a little bowl of chili. Ryan's gonna get so mad at me for exposing him right now, but he just sent me a Snapchat and he just got his hair cut. That's so precious. I'm getting one too. Okay guys, I can't lie, I'm really proud of myself. I quickly was like, oh my gosh, like it's almost time for me to leave. Like, let me just throw on a quick outfit. And I, when I get my hair done, I usually like to feel cute, okay? So that's why we're doing our makeup right now. And I like to like, I don't know, I just, cause then when your hair's done, you're like, the full look, you know? You're like happy, you can like really see how it's gonna look. So I was like, oh, like I wanna wear something high neck so I can wear like my um, darker shade foundation because I haven't like self tanned or gotten a spray tan or anything recently. So if I just blend it to the neck, you know, it's a trick I do all the time over the winter. So I was just like, oh, let me just like grab a turtleneck. And then I was like, wait, I have this knit vest that I've barely worn, let me just. And so I just popped it on and threw on this new necklace that I got from the Gold Hour Company and like, with the earrings, like I'm kind of like really excited. <laughs> Fashion is really fun. Um, so I just thought I'd do my makeup really quickly with you guys. Can't stop, won't stop using this foundation. Hourglass, I'll link this all below. I like recently linked this all as well. I wanna do like a full makeup regime, but I feel as if I just show it in all my vlogs and it literally hasn't changed. Like it just has not. Blending it out, I'm probably not doing the best job and the lighting here is not the best, but. Here we are. This foundation just really just does it for me. Guys, I'm really nervous. I'm like trying to hide it, but I'm really nervous to do this in my hair. Even though, so the top of my hair right now is kind of a dark brown. So if anything, we'll just blend it. I'm gonna talk to my girl. I go to Candace at Tribe Hair Company here in Athens. Ever since I came to college, I started going to her just to keep consistency. I couldn't always like just go back home to Tampa to get my hair done. But um, yeah, I'm nervous. I've been blonde for the last like year or two. And I mean, I'm gonna be blonde. I still wanna be blonde. I just really want a change and this is what it's gonna be. But watch me go and like talk to her and then shake it out and she'd be like, just make me blonde again, I don't know. Like I'm not gonna touch the bo- I know, I, I, I'll I, shut up, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, this is real, this is me. You guys said you like when I'm rambly and just like not edit as much and just chat. So here we are. Um. Doing the dang thing. Delaney was like, do you wanna go to TJ Maxx? I was like, yes, but I can't go right now. I also have no reason to go to TJ Maxx, but she never wants to do random stuff like that. So I'm like kind of kind of sad boy hours about it. But then if I went, I'd spend money that I don't need to spend because I don't need to get anything. Do you guys ever feel that way? Especially with like stores like TJ Maxx. Also, someone commented on my video saying this is still in stock, this Becca BFF palette. If so, I need to repurchase. Cause I bet if it's on sale, that means it's probably piecing out on us soon. But it's just like a great duo. It just got everything all in one. I used to be obsessed with makeup. Like when I first started my channel, fun fact, it was called The Makeup I Did Now, if you guys um, didn't know that. Yeah. And I thought I was really good at makeup. One of my first videos was like a red lip tutorial. I'm pretty sure it's still up. So feel free to go check it out. But um, 
I soon learned that there are much better people at doing makeup than I am. I'm happy with how I do mine, but you know, I don't need to be making videos on how to apply mascara. Like, come on, Danielle. <laughs> Adding a little bit of highlight on the nose, and then I take my finger and add a little bit more. Brows. Um, I guess we'll use, yeah, the Sephora Collection Brow Lash stuff. Lash. Danielle, you good? Brows are average. I also just realized I'm gonna have a mask on, so. But whatever. When I get back in my car, I'll be able to see the grand reveal. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Stay safe. Stay safe. Uh, a little lip balm. Oh. Oh. Forgot mascara. I do get lash lift in tints, however. I haven't gotten one in like over a month, so towards the end I usually start to add mascara again because I mean my lashes are still pretty lifted but the tint's kind of gone and I find that mascara just kind of brightens you up a little bit. I'm using this Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I think I like it. I don't know. It's just something they sent one time like a while back and I continue to use it. And that's where we're at with that. People are loving our podcast episode today with Audrey Challenger. I'm so happy. So many people were like, the collab I didn't know I needed. And that just like makes me so happy because I agree. I freaking love her so much. And I'm so excited she came on the show. Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk Mask. Or mask? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> lipstick. Can you guys tell I'm frazzled right now? Yes. Um, what day? What's today? Oh, as you guys are watching this, my giveaway with Doing Well Daily ends tonight. So if you did it, if you want to win one of my planners that I designed with Doing Well Daily, it's the freaking best, um, <clears throat> go follow at Doing Well Daily on Instagram, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn, which you should just do because I'm literally always posting my outfit of the days and just like random fun stuff with my life that I don't always put on my channel. So definitely go follow me there and then we'll be announcing the winner this Friday. So as you guys are watching this, I'll be announcing it tomorrow. The giveaway is ending tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will be announcing a restock this weekend. So get hype. I also realized I don't have pants on and this is not a dress. I need to have pants. So I'm going to figure that out. I'll show you guys the final outfit and then we're going to head to Tribe Hair. All right, here's my little hair salon OOTD. I don't know if these jeans would be the most perfect thing, but I honestly just really need to go. So we just popped them on. I'm gonna be sitting anyways. I just like this top part. Um, so yeah, vest, I'll link it down below. It's from Storette. Uh, sweater, or turtleneck long sleeve is from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Gold Hour Co. Earrings from 60 Stacks. Jeans, like $6 from Walmart. And then my Nike Air Forces. And then um, my purse is from Urban Outfitters. All right, we are going to grab a kombucha for the road. I like didn't finish this one yesterday, so I'm just gonna take this guy and we're going to grab a black mask. I'm almost done with these. Yay, guys! Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Guys, I am so happy with how it came out. I'm like, I got my ring light out because I got in my car and it was literally dark, so it was hard to see. So I wanted you guys to see the full effect. I am so happy with what she did. Like, I didn't want anything to be super dramatic just yet because I like was so scared. So literally we just did, like she just brought the roots down a little bit. She didn't like dye my hair. She just did like a root smudge shadow. I don't really know what it's called. Toned my hair and then added like super bright pieces on the front. They're called like money pieces. And we did more of like a blunt cut. I wasn't ready to go super, super short, but we cut off all the dead ends. Like I just feel like this looks so fresh and just happy and I, Love it so much. So I'm so happy. So yeah, just the top's like a little bit darker. I didn't want to go like too intense, but I think it's like a good mix for me. And if I wanted to go like darker in the future, I could, but I, I do still love having that like blonde situation going. So yay! But um, yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogmas. I'm literally using a ring light because I wanted you guys to see the hair color. I love you guys so much. Subscribe. Let me know if you liked today's video. Any sort of little segments you want to see here on vlogmas. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Bye-bye, guys.